Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of this amazing e-group series, Free People. Based on the line, free people, free people, we want you to be free, we want you to help free other people. So, amazing to have Pastor Sam with us today. It's good to be here. My man. We are looking this week, uh, last week was the intro, this week we're looking at the whole area of identity. What is freedom, how does freedom tie into the whole, the whole thing of identity, who you are in Jesus. And it's really based on the idea of salvation. Yeah, idea of salvation and how salvation is a gift. Because let's face it, a lot of us are bound because we're searching for identity. Yes. Uh, We think if I do this, then I will become this person. Right. You know, and it's all workspace, it's all works focus rather than understanding who we are in Christ. Yeah. And we didn't earn our place Mm -hmm. in his family. We didn't earn our salvation, it's received as a gift. Mm. And a lot of people still is like, once I graduate, when I get that job, then I'll be accepted, then I'll be loved. Here's the good news, you are loved already, you are accepted, and how you receive the gift of salvation is by faith. Yeah. (laughs) By faith, which is a big thing. Uh, Massive, because we are, by nature, we want to earn it. Yeah. Hey, we feel like we can earn it. We feel like if we do enough good things, if we behave good enough, yep. then we are we are acceptable enough to God. But it's, it's never gonna. You are never gonna be good enough. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people chase um, or uh, chase things. Um, they start off this whole journey yep. believing in faith, and then they try and now work it yeah. in, in the flesh uh, out of their own efforts. And that's why a lot of people aren't in church today. It's like, oh, yeah. shame. Yeah. And after what I did, yeah. after no, you didn't do anything to be saved apart from believe in Jesus. Dude, and lots of people leave church because they feel like, man, I did all that stuff for the church yep. or for Jesus, and it didn't pan, pan out for me because they're still trying to do it in their own strength. Yeah. Yeah, rather than just receive from God yep. and know who we are. And because and it's the way the world works, it's like identity is what you do, rather than it's, yeah. a, it's a gift. Jesus, the message of Jesus, it's a gift we receive. Man, can you just let that sink in for a second? Um, our identity is based on what we do rather than who we are. The other way around. Uh, yeah, it's no, based on who we, we believe that, right? Yeah, a lot of us believe that we, our identity is based on what we do, our gifts and our, and our things that we're good at, yeah. rather than actually who we are. Yeah, it's yeah. it's just like I'm an engineer. No, there's yeah. something that yeah. you do. It's not who yeah. you are. You're a child of God. Or even in a negative way, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not. No, it's not. It's not who you are. It's not. You your may name. have done it, but doesn't yeah. mean you have to become it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, who we are is a result of what Jesus accomplished on the cross. Exactly. So once we figure out and really receive, man, we are who we are in Jesus because of what he's done. It's an absolutely free gift. So we're we're basing this on a scripture. It's really good for you to have this scripture. Galatians 3, 1 to 7. I won't read the whole lot, but this is a really crack up way of saying it in the message. Let me read it out. Let me put this question to you. How did your new life begin? Was it by working your heads off to please God? (laughs) <laughs> or was it by responding to God's message to you? Are you going to continue this craziness? Only crazy people would <laughs> crazy think that people. <laughs> only crazy people would think that they could complete by their own efforts what was begun by God. That kind of says it all, right? That, that says it. And how crazy are we? <laughs> yeah, because you know our confidence when it comes to identity yeah. is I still stuff up. Yeah. I'm sure you still stuff up as well. No, no, no. <laughs> Liar. Uh, so there was a stuff up there. Uh, but just the whole thing is we, Jeez, uh, we, still, <laughs> we still stuff up. But our confidence is in that we are the righteousness of God. Yeah, right. And so I'm his righteousness by faith. Yeah. I've been made clean. Yeah. Um, so I'm a righteous person who sins, not a sinner who does yeah. something righteous every now and then. <laughs> yes. I'm just a sinner. That's I'm a, a worm, a big, I'm a nobody. Yeah, it's a pretty big concept for people to understand. I mean, I heard that for years and years yeah. and years. By faith, I was saved. But what I didn't realize, that what that meant was not by feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I can't feel saved all the yeah. time. I'm not going to feel righteous all the time. Yeah. So I have to believe it 
by faith. I actually have to believe, no, I have to believe something that God is telling me, dude, you are righteous, not because of what you did, but because of what I did. I just had to re- receive it and believe it. Yeah. And I think this is a big thing, even in our mentality, is like that some people say, oh, well, I'm an accountant, yeah. <laughs> which means, you know, you embrace a certain personality. Oh, yeah. I am a student, right. which means oh, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know, I am, no, it's something that yeah. you do is not who you are. And it's, it's like sinners, like accountants account, engineers engineer, teachers teach, yeah. Yeah. sinners sin. <laughs> so if you see yourself as a sinner, yeah. but if you see yourself as the righteousness of God, what do yeah. you do? Yeah. You do Righteous right things. things. Yeah. Right things, and you know, it doesn't mean you won't sin, yeah. but your confidence is in the righteousness of God. And I think there's three big concepts that a lot of people don't understand around yeah. salvation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and Paul, it can be quite confusing in the Bible because Paul says we are saved. Yes. We are being saved, yeah. and we will be saved. Yeah. So are you saved? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what is yeah. it? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, we are saved by putting our trust in Jesus. That's our eternity is yeah. assured in Him. Uh, the word for that is justification. It's an old school way of, of saying it, eh? Those three things. Yeah. yeah. For those who have been around a long time, you probably yeah. heard these. Justification, I am saved. Yeah. Uh, I am being saved, sanctification. sanctification. Yeah. And then I will be saved when we get to the end, everything comes good. It's called glorification. Yeah, so those three concepts are really important to understand because otherwise people get confused yeah. about well, I am free. Yeah. But am I living out my freedom? Yeah. Or am I trying to outwork? Yeah, I know I'm going to heaven. Yeah. Justification just as if I never sinned, that's how God sees us nice. as the righteousness <laughs> of God. Nice. And, and so so what justification does it removes the penalty of sin yeah but but sanctification we are being saved yeah sanctification this is a process that you and i are in until the day we die come on that's i don't know if yeah. that's good news but yeah. that's the <laughs> that's the process we uh, are no, in. it really is good news because yeah. none of us are perfect uh. we all stuff up we all sin and and so Justification removes the penalty of sin, but what sanctification does is removes the power of sin. That's such a good way of saying it. Yeah, Um, yeah, even if you don't really understand those words, justification, sanctification, glorification, this is a a cool way of putting that across, that removes the penalty of sin, um, but then the power of sin is what what keeps us kind of bound up, right? Yeah. A lot of people are still bound up after being Christians for a long time. Yeah, you're, you're saved. Your, your eternity is yep. secure, but you're still bound. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm saved, but I'm still thinking like I thought before I got saved. Yeah. So I'm still thinking yep. according to the way of the world. I'm chasing money, chasing yep. affirmation, chasing yep. all this. Yeah. Because yep. my identity is not in Christ. Yeah. And we're under the power. Yeah. We're saved, but we're still under the power. But there's good news is... This year <laughs> could be the year where that power that you've been under, you can actually be free from. Come on. And, and, but yeah. you've got to pursue freedom and, yeah. and this whole process of yeah. sanctification. And again, it's not by my effort. It's by faith. By faith. In Jesus. Yeah, and when we do believe by faith, we then agree with it. And that's the, I think that's the yeah. bit, if I could just throw yeah. something in there, because I think... I think a lot of guys get caught up with this because they're expecting just the miracle. I'm, I believe I'm saved by faith. Can't you just make me completely perfect by yep. faith also? Yeah. And then it's like, no, well, you've got a part to play in this. You've got to believe the truth that he tells you. Yep. You've got to obey the things that he tells you to do. Yeah. But he gives you the power to do it. Yeah. He gives hey. you the power to do it. And, and it comes back to how you see yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Identity. But, but identity. Because what sin does, uh, sin... Is it dis- gives you a distorted view of yourself. Yeah. It distorts. Yeah. It's like before the fall, Adam and Eve looked in the mirror. Could, they could see a reflection of themselves. They could see God. As a, mo- as a result of the fall, it was like the enemy came with a stone, threw it into that mirror. Yeah. The mirror shattered yeah. and they see a distorted view of themselves. Yeah. Sanctification is God restoring that mirror 
so that we can see ourselves as he sees us. Yeah, one crack at a time. Yeah, one little bit <laughs> one at a time, time, just restoring yeah. it and go, oh man, yeah. I always thought I was this, but I'm not, you know, yeah. things like, I grew up thinking oh, I'm a shy person. Yeah. I'm a shy person, I can't do that, yeah. I can't do that. But I had to come back and go, no, the righteous are as bold as a lion. And the fruit of the spirit doesn't include shyness. Nice. And so I have to change the way that I see myself. Man, that is massive. How many of us have grown up with believing that lies are our our truth? We believe the things about ourselves that are just not true. But we've grown up with them so long that we think it's part of who we are. Yeah, we heard it from our parents, we heard it from teachers, words have got in, I'm no good at this, I'm always going to be poor, you know, I'm not academic, I'm going to struggle with this. I'm not accepted, Uh, no one wants me around, Uh, I'm just not worth having people or having community or having people love me. Those are massive I'm a burden, I don't want, yeah, those things get into our mind where you're accepted, you're loved, you're chosen, you're forgiven. Yes. Here's the big thing. You are forgiven. Yes, you may have done it, but God doesn't hold that against you. You're a new person in Christ. This is a big thing. It's like by faith. By faith. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone is in Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if anyone is in Christ, they're a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. New. And so so you got, we are saved, uh, which is justification. So that deals with the penalty of sin. We are being Being saved. saved. That is sanctification, sanctification, which deals with the power of sin. And then we will be saved. Yeah, when we get to the end, glorification. Glorification, which removes the presence of sin. So we're in heaven. There's no sin there. It's like the Bible says, when, when Jesus returns, we will see him and we'll be like him in a moment. Just like that. Wouldn't that be, a, uh, wouldn't that be amazing? <clears throat> in, in a moment, we'll be like Ooh. him, and it removes the presence of sin in our lives. That's going to be a great, a great day. Awesome but day. here's the question. Are you saved? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, you know, I really like the, the scripture that says the Holy Spirit is taking us from glory to glory. Yeah. You know, that undoing those, those cracks in the mirror. Starting to, to restore the picture of God. It does take time. Glory to glory to glory until we finally get to that place of glorification. Yeah, and I think good questions to ask is, uh, you know, how have I come to believe this about myself? Nice. How have I come, you know, have I heard it from my parents? A lot of the struggle we face are struggles that our parents didn't overcome. Yeah, absolutely. And what they struggle with is yeah. now projected on us. That generational thing is huge. It's a generational thing. It's not to shame your parents, but it's to realize that, hey, our Father in heaven, He knows us better than we know ourselves. So good. And He's got an amazing plan and an amazing future for all of our lives. Let's wrap this up. Um, This this is an amazing thing for you guys to talk about in your e-groups now, especially um, justification, sure, believe that by faith, but sanctification. A lot of people get stuck on number two. We'd love you to talk about that and discuss how, are you stuck there in number two somewhere? Are you stuck by guilt? Are you stuck by shame? Are you stuck by generational lies? Uh, we, we want you to be free so that you can then pass on to your generations that same freedom. Wow, let's do it. Let's do it. Free people. Free people.